Okay, now that we have set up our two core physics bodies, then we'll go ahead and set up the rest. I'm going to be dropping bodies on my high joints and my low joints. And only A, not the B, not I don't want to put physics bodies on the extremities or the, the joint ends rather. So just select those, choose add bodies, <laughs> and I have boxes. I don't think I want boxes. I'm going to do capsules. So just set that to capsule and regenerate. And what you're going to get should look similar to this. So we can go ahead and scale these. I'm just going to move them in. So they're just underneath the surface. I think I accidentally selected two there. And once I have these set, I'll go ahead and try a simulation just to see how things are looking. So let's let's go ahead and, and see what that's like. And you can see it kind of flips out. I need to set my constraints. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'll just control click each constraint. I'm gonna set them all to the same thing and then if I need to, I can tweak more. With the constraint selected, we'll do our linear limits. And I'm gonna set those to 15. And then we'll go ahead and set our angular limits. And I think I'm going to set these to 15 as well. And then we'll try to simulate again here. All right. And then you can see we're getting that same droopy effect. And that's, that's where our linear motor comes into play. So I'll put that to 15. And it, let's I'm gonna try this a little higher. <laughs> yeah, that's not quite. Let's try 2500. It had a, a real slingshot effect there. And this will all, I'm gonna leave that for now and do the rest of the, the bodies here. And I just want to scale these guys up a bit and then bring them in. Looks like I could probably take this one and just scale it in a bit. Like 
like so. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do our lower constraints. And just get some basic values in here. So linear limits, we'll set those to limited. We'll do something like 15. Our angular limits, I'm gonna set these lower, I think, because I want less jiggle on the bottom. All right, we'll go ahead and simulate. And we can see what we're getting here. So in the next video tutorial, we'll continue polishing our physics setup, but this is the basic setup. Something else that's kind of fun to do is if you hold down control and right click, you can kind of pull on the bodies and you can really get an idea for how things are going to behave. So right now you can see that you know we're getting we're getting some definite jiggle and stuff, but oh you know what? I forgot to turn on it seems this has been I forgot to turn on the motor. So I think we'll get a much nicer effect here. And then I'll set the strength to 2500. We'll try this again. There we go. And now it's holding up better. And that's a lot more jiggle. If I hold control and right click and just kind of tug on these. <laughs> you can get an interesting idea for how the material is going to feel. So in the next tutorial, we'll do some polish on our setup here. And I'll see you in the next video.